I'm not gonna lie, I was a little late to watching Logan. I was, I think, maybe a couple years late. <laughs> um, I don't know why, I just, I didn't go to see it, and I just kind of waited. Yeah, I, I wanted to watch it, because I heard it was really great. And I like the character of Wolverine. I'm not too big into X-Men, but I really like the character of Wolverine. I've seen some of the movies, I've seen some bits and pieces, uh, but I really wanted to see Logan. And when I finally did, my first thought was, Please make action figures, because I will buy them. And they did for San Diego Comic-Con. But then San Diego Comic-Con was canceled, so then it was a PulseCon exclusive, and it was orderable on Hasbro Pulse, only if you're in the U.S. and Canada. And I was able to secure a set uh, the next day. Uh, I am a Pulse Premium member, but it's only one per customer, and my brother's girlfriend wanted it, so I'm like, hey, she she collects Marvel Legends more than me. It's kind of her priority, so... And she has a Wolverine focus. She has a whole shelf for Wolverine. She needs this more than me, so if only one of us gets it, it should be her. But then the next day, we had another account, and uh, I did order myself the Logan set in a single item order, so that's why I have this before I have the Arc Trooper pack or the Quintesson Pit of Judgment because Hasbro Pulse shipped single item orders before they even shipped Pulse Premium orders. <sighs> Why? I don't know. But yes, I've had this Logan set for days now, and uh, I'm still waiting for them to ship my Arc Troopers and my Quintesson Pit of Judgment. <laughs> but anyways, here we are, the Logan set. And this set's really great. It does reuse some parts, from which exact figures I can't really tell you because I'm not that into Marvel Legends. But they do reuse some parts, uh, and honestly, this set's really great. You get Charles Xavier, and then you have Logan himself. Unfortunately, the wheelchair is not accurate. Uh, it's not really the kind of wheelchair he had. I think my, my brother and his girlfriend are way more versed. I think this wheelchair is from, I know it's from the two-pack with Magneto. This, this wheelchair is only specific to, uh, a scene with young Charles. Uh, you can even see on the art here, it's not really, the wheelchair is not really accurate at all to the wheelchair he had, you know, there. Like, just, ju just going off of that, even if that's not accurate. It's not the same as this. So unfortunately, you know, oop, he just completely slid out. That was hilarious. Unfortunately, you know, you're not really getting an accurate chair. But me personally, I don't care. He comes with one. That's fine by me. Uh, let's talk about the box first real quick because, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Look at this box. I want to display this box. It looks so great. The silhouettes, the golden X. It's actually raised to, it's a, it's a beautiful box. Got Logan on the side there, and then I love these X-Men boxes. Then there's the other side. Probably shouldn't have shown that because the other one has like the labels. And there's old Charles. And then if you slide it out, this is how they're presented. Ooh, come on, you can just see you got Logan, you got Charles Xavier. I'm not even gonna fully. You can see there's Charles and Logan yet again. Oh my goodness, this is so big. I don't want to knock into stuff. Yeah, really nice box. Really nice and professional. It's certainly worthy of being a convention exclusive package. And I'm really happy with that. <laughs> like, honestly, that is a very nice box. So anyways, here is Charles and Logan. Let's talk about Charles first because he is the, the old guy. So <laughs> good old Charles over here with his... Uh, his good old, you know, spasms that kills everybody if, you know, Logan doesn't stop them. Because he's old. He's so old he doesn't want to stay in his chair anymore. He's like, oh, Logan, I can't even... Whoa. That's funny. <clears throat> but yeah, you can have him kind of hold on to it if you want. Kind of helps him stay in there. Uh, honestly, though, the, the wheelchair, let's talk about that first. Really good. Um... It does actually have rubber wheels, I think. They feel rubbery to me. Maybe they're not rubber. Maybe they're just like soft plastic, but they feel rubber. And that actually really helps it with rolling. So that's nice. Unfortunately, those wheels do not roll. They're kind of just there. But honestly, you don't need them to roll. Paint's good. Looks nice. Silver plastic's kind of cheap looking, but it's no biggie. It's not the right wheelchair. Also not a biggie for me, but I can see how it's a problem for other people. And uh, yeah, he looks good in it. I do like it. You can have Logan hold on to it, too, if you want Logan to uh, card him around. Figure itself, then. Uh, <laughs> he's... I'm going to do something that should not be done. Logan. The whole time. 
I was faking it. I could walk. That that doesn't this does not look right. I <laughs> this doesn't look right. I don't want him standing. I I don't like that. But I need to show off the uh, the details and articulation. So the likeness to Sir Patrick Stewart is amazing. Oh my goodness, he's got the facial hair. He's uh he's got all that. He he looks great. He's got the a little bit of hair in the back of his head, too. I kind of appreciate that detail. I love his shirt. His shirt looks great. And his jacket looks great, too. Like, he just looks like a really good figure, man. And his pants, is he's pretty plain. But, hey, it's it's old man Charles Xavier. He's not supposed to be super action-packed. Uh, his articulation, he does have a hinge at the neck. Can allow him to look up a lot and then down a lot. When he's lying in bed, he's like, oh, I feel so bad. And then... Uh, Logan's like, yeah, man, here, let me, let me help you out. Let me just give you a little pat on the chest there. Except it wasn't Logan. Oh my gosh. But then there we go. He can move. He's got joints. He's got things. He could move. He's got an ab crunch, which is kind of awkward with the vest, but it works well enough. It actually looks pretty natural like that. He's like, oh gosh, Logan. You know, he's, he's a Marvel legend, man. He's got what you expect. And I don't have a problem with that. He's a good figure, dude. Uh, so, of course, we can get him in some sick some sick poses. Some freaking sick articulated comic book art. We can... I actually got him to stay in this pose when I first got him. He can kind of like... Oh, Logan, I'm doing some sick stunts, Logan. There we go. Maybe he'll stay like that. What if I break him doing something stupid like that? That'd be great. People would be like, you got what you deserved, and I would honestly not disagree. <laughs> so yeah, there's Charles. He looks very dead right there. Hopefully that doesn't actually happen to him. That would be a shame, wouldn't it? I'm assuming you've seen Logan if you're watching this review, man. <laughs> I'm assuming you've seen it. It's been out for years. I was actually surprised, man. I was not spoiled about Charles' death. That actually was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. <clears throat> Unfortunately, though, I was spoiled about... Our boy, because <laughs> that's kind of a, uh, it was kind of a very uh, memorable scene, and everyone kind of needed to talk about it, didn't they? So yeah, here is Logan. Uh, I have him with his bloody claws and with his normal kind of calm head. He is battle damaged. You can see, and oh my gosh, that, <sighs> man, I think that likeness is great. I don't think it's perfect, but I think it's great. I think it's good enough. I really like it. I, I think it looks a lot like him. And he's actually got some neck, some neck hair too. I appreciate that detail. I mean, he's a black suited body. Honestly, not too much to talk about with the body. It's, you know, honestly not too unique, but it, it, it works for Logan. That's how he looked. And then he's posable as well. You can get him in some really good poses. He's a Marvel legend. Honestly, I don't know why Marvel Legends people, they're like, I need to go over every little bit of the range. Like, you can see it, man. You're used to these by now. Like, you can see what he's doing. You can see what he's kind of struggling with. You know, you can see that, like, he can't really move his back too far because of the, the jacket. Uh, oddly enough, though, he has a double, like a dumbbell joint at the neck. And honestly, it doesn't allow for that much articulation. I'm not going to lie. But... Given that opportunity, let's swap it in for the other head, which is just as great. It's his angry head. It's the start of the movie, why are you messing with me, I'm going to start cutting you up <laughs> kind of head. And I love the bloody claws. I don't know why you would ever display them with the clean claws. Because look at these bloody claws, look at the splatter. It looks so great. I do kind of wish he had an interchangeable claw or something that was kind of shorter. <laughs> I think that looked kind of cool. But yeah, man, that looks great. Look at that. Wow, that is just superb. It looks so good. And like I said, you do get clean claws if you're boring like that. I mean, you do get them. But like I said, boring. But honestly, one way I might display them, you get these interchangeable hands. You have kind of like a more closed fist, probably for holding the wheelchair, like a, a gripping hand, and then you have like a more relaxed... Oop, you have a more relaxed hand for this hand. Honestly, one thing I might do, I might have him with this hand 
And I don't, don't scrutinize me. I don't remember which claw it was. But I might have him, like, holding one of his claws, like, pulling it out. And he's just like, Argh! I think that looked really cool. <clears throat> I like that. Don't remember which claw it was. I'm sorry. It's been, it's been a minute since I've seen the movie. Yeah, man, this is a really good figure. It's really good. For comparison and size, here it is with Silver Centurion, because I just reviewed him. So yeah, he's like he's like the standard Marvel Legends size. A little taller, as he should be. But yeah, because I think this Iron Man's pretty tall. So with that being said, there's not too much else to talk about. These are pretty basic bodies. And uh, basic bodies for extraordinary figures of extraordinary characters from an amazing movie. I recommend this set if you are a def uh, definitely a fan of Logan. Um, honestly, if... If you collect Marvel Legends, like movie ones too, I think the set is definitely one you need to track down. Unfortunately, it wasn't exclusive to PulseCon, and I do think it's sold out now. So you would have to go secondary. You'd have to see if someone can help you out with it. It retailed for 50 bucks. Uh, I think that's a pretty good price for the quality you get. Not perfect because they're they're pretty basic bodies, right? Not nothing too special. But what what's new here is great. The head sculpts are amazing. The paint's amazing, especially with the blood and the battle damage. I, I really recommend this set. I think it's superb. I I love it. As a Logan fan, I love it. Uh, this is my second Wolverine figure. <laughs> the other one I have is kind of like the classic Jim Lee sort of one they did back, I think, a, a couple years ago now. Like the Tiger Stripe one. <clears throat> Technically, J4, that design did not originate with, originate with Jim Lee. Shh. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.